Hello and welcome to another Live 2D tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up jiggle physics in Live 2D. Um, now I know the most obvious applications for this is going to be the um, Uber and the Vise, which we will be showing off today, but it can be applied to other things as well. So let's get started. So today I'm going to be borrowing my wonderful kids model here, one of my most recent rigs actually. This is Kaya Sol. You can go and find her in all of the links down in the description. Go and follow her, she's a lot of fun. And she has let me demonstrate the physics on her model because um, she has the best to demonstrate with. <laughs> so we're going to start off by just demonstrating how it looks on this model here. I'm going to go ahead and open up our physics window. So for the bust we have a Y physics as well as an X. And as for the thigh area, we don't have a Y because they don't react that way normally in real life. However, we do have an X. And now I'm going to show you how to set this up. All right, here we are. So I've completely wiped it clean so we can start from scratch here now. So obviously the only parameter that we have for our bust here is for the body. And remember when we are setting up physics we want it to be a child to this so we want our physics to be under the general movement so i've gone ahead and created a new folder here just so it's easy to demonstrate but you can get your physics organized however you prefer most of the time i just put the jiggle physics under the body tab but that is completely up to you so we're going to go ahead and create a few new parameters here There we are. So we're doing the bust first and we'll do the fires later on. So with those parameters set up, we are going to actually start with the X movement. So what we're going to need to do is select our meshes here and we're going to create a new warp deformer. We're going to call this Uber X and we're going to want to create a second one. Now it is possible to create it on the one deformer, but I personally prefer to separate them since the movement does tend to be a little bit more clean rather than synthesizing the corners later, but that is an option there. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do it how I usually set them up. There we go. So we have an X and an X2. And I'm going to actually shift our X1 below X2 on my list. Just so it's a bit easier for me to organize. So our X2, which is the parent of X, is going to be our main movement. And our X is going to be the more subtle movement, which is going to give it more of a jiggly effect. So we're going to go ahead and set this up here. So what we're going to want to do is set this to 30. And obviously we're going to move it to the right. This is going to be a general movement. We just want to move this to the side here. And obviously you could spend a little bit more time trying to get this looking a bit more perfect. <laughs> For the sake of the tutorial, we're just going a bit quicker. And then once we have one side set up, you can select the menu here. And reflect motion. Reflect horizontally, there we are, and they'll automatically set it up on the other side for you as well. Since this is a symmetrical motion, it saves a lot of time. And then we're going to set up our X as well. So this is the more subtle movement. So what we're going to want to do is you'll see the Bezier division number. We're going to want to increase this a bit for the width. So let's see, it's going to be about three. Basically, we want to have a more subtle movement going on here. So we're just going to move the inside bit here a bit. You may want to play around with this just a little bit, you know, test it out and all that just to see what looks right, especially because these sizes do differ between models. And we're going to go ahead and reflect that one as well. So we're going to go ahead and open up our physics window to actually set up this motion. And we're going to add a new group. And we're not going to add any presets here because we're going to set this up ourselves. And for our inputs, we're going to add here. We're going to put in body X and body Z. We're going to set these both at 100. So body X should be on position and body Z should be at angle. If you haven't seen it, I do have a full length video all about the physics window and what everything means. Do feel free to check that one out. 
that will be in the description as well as well as the i card on the top right here and next what we're going to want to do is add two pendulums so we're going to add two and we're not going to touch that for just a moment until we add our outputs and obviously the outputs will be our new parameters that we just created there we are so that's going to add them on there you may notice that they are stiff that's because we need to edit the scale so we're going to play around with this a little bit to see what works see that's a little bit too much i'm going to decrease that and what we're going to need to do is change our pendulum settings as well because they are shaking way too much we don't have that natural bounce to them so you'll notice that the shaking is at 0.95 here. So for number one, I like to have this at 0.91 and number two at 0.9. You can tweak this a little bit if you do know a bit about the physics in Live 2D, but this is the general preset that I will use myself for all of my models with a bust. And for reaction, we're actually going to turn this down to 0.8. We go try that out here. You may notice that they are deforming a bit weirdly because we need to reflect our X1 and you'll see they look like it's more of a jiggle now rather than a bit of an awkward delay motion. And obviously this does need a lot of fine tuning because I've done it a bit quicker than usual. That's the general idea for the X motion. The Y motion works a little bit differently. So we're going to go ahead and create two new deformers for our Y similar to the X. You remember I mentioned earlier about the expansion and compression. So the way that they naturally bounce is they will go outwards and then inwards, especially with someone with this size. <laughs> Obviously, when you're using a smaller model, it's going to be a lot more subtle. So do bear that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and put our E-frames on here. So Y2 to Y2, and then Y to Y1. And we're going to set up this motion here. So with Y2, it's going to be the up and down motion. Now we're not going to use reflect motion here because this is going to be different going up and down. So we're going to go ahead and set this up manually. And with the down movement, it is a lot more subtle compared to the upward movement. Now for our Y, we're going to need to change our Bezier division number again. We're going to go back to three here so that we have one on each side here. And for the 30, we're actually going to have this expand outwards. And then for minus 30, we're going to have it compress inward. And now we can set up our physics group as we did with the X. So since we already have our X group set up, we can actually just duplicate it. So if you go ahead and press this duplicate button up here, and we're going to rename this to Boobal Y. So that's going to transfer all of our settings over. This is super helpful because we don't need to set up our pendulums again. So I actually use the same pendulum setup for both the X and the Y. All we need to do is delete the body Z and change our body X to body Y. And then obviously in the output settings, we're going to change this to our Y parameters. And you may see that it will pop up here where it's basically being smart and asking if you want it to auto swap it. Make sure it is the right parameter that it's trying to swap to. So yes, it is here. And you're going to want to make sure that the up and down motion is on pendulum number one, whilst the outward and inward motion is on pendulum number two. That's because the up and down motion comes before the expansion and compression. So if we look at it now, We got some perfect jiggle physics going on. But that's the basic idea for the booba at least. So next we're going to look at the phis. Now I did mention that the phis do not have a Y physics motion because that's not really how they work in real life. Obviously, if you're being a VTuber, you can do whatever you want. So if you wanted to, you could also apply this to the Y motion as well by creating extra parameters for those and an extra physics group for that. But for the sake of this, we're just going to set up our X motion. And this will work uh, very similarly to the X motion on the bust, actually. So we're going to go ahead and create two new parameters. And 
and we're also going to create a deformer to put the physics on and remember to add it at the bottom of your hierarchy so below any of your x and y movements Now for this, I am actually going to use one deformer. So as I mentioned earlier, there is the option to use just one deformer to set up these jiggle physics, um, but that I do prefer using two. Now this doesn't really matter too much with the phi area I found, so I prefer just to use the one. However, if you would prefer to use two, you can also do it the same method as we did with the bus just now. However, if you want to know how to use this method, for example, I'm going to show it to you now. So we're going to go ahead and set this up with keyforms on both x2 and x1. So remember x2 is going to be our general big movement and then x1 is going to be our subtle movement. So we're going to go ahead and set up x2 first. I'm going to set up both legs at the same time. If you do struggle, just set them up one at a time. And we can reflect this. And then with our X1, it's going to be the subtle movement. So we're going to once again increase our Beziers. I usually put them at three, but if you want to fine tune your movement, then you can add more, for example. And we're just going to add a little subtle. And reflect that. So there is one extra step that you have to do before popping into the physics window. So you may notice that if, for example, we put it here, it's going to just clip back when we change the other value that's because we have to synthesize the corners here so if you're working with one deformer with two parameters make sure to synthesize your corners first before helping into physics we're going to synthesize these so then that will all work fine and we're going to go ahead and pop into our physics window and what we can do here is find our over x and we're going to duplicate this because it's going to have very similar settings. We're going to call this phi x. And all we need to do is hop into our output settings and swap this over to our phi parameters. Like so. And then it's the perfect jiggle. You see they have a little bit of lingering movement afterwards. And you don't want to have your shaking set too high because otherwise it's going to be too much. And when that's put into tracking, it's going to look very awkward when you keep moving around. So just this amount should be fine. You want to have that really smooth jiggle, you know? <laughs> so there we have it. That was how to set up jiggle physics in Live 2D. I hope this was helpful for you. I know this has been requested a few times now actually it's taken me a few months to get around to it but we're here now i hope it was helpful i know a lot of people struggle to get that really smooth motion for example with the y and a, a common mistake i do see is people setting up the shaking or the reaction too high feel free to use my presets here and it gets that really smooth motion in even in tracking and I hope you have a wonderful time rigging your live 2D models. If there are any questions to do with this video or perhaps a previous one or any suggestions of anything I should cover, then please let me know in the comments down below. Do feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. We do release more live 2D based tutorials as well as covering any live 2D trackers, for example, VTube Studio. Do check out my previous video about setting up expressions in live 2D. And with that, have a wonderful day and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.